Escalation in the Middle East appears imminent due to various incidents that took place throughout the region. On February 25th, the Israeli-owned vehicle-carrying vessel MV Helios Ray was rocked by a heavy explosion, but didn't sink. According to the owner of the vessel, it wasn't known what had struck the Helios Ray, but likely it was missiles or a mine placed on the bow. It took two days of investigation to reach an obvious conclusion. Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz said that Iran had carried out the attack. Israeli TV reported that the assessment claimed that the Iranian Navy had fired two missiles at the Israeli flagged ship. Israeli experts were allegedly on the way to the UAE where the ship was anchored. There is no confirmation nor denial from Iran as of yet, but Israel is already using this presumed attack for a potential escalation. In recent weeks, Tel Aviv has been pushing to form a military security pact with Gulf states against Tehran. While having its interests targeted in the Gulf of Oman, Israel is still carrying out its usual activity towards Syria and immediately responded to the alleged Iranian aggression. On February 28th, Syrian air defense forces over Damascus were activated to repel an Israeli attack launched from above the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights. The Israeli Air Force likely targeted alleged Iranian targets, but Israel provided no comment on the manner. Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz said that Israel was taking action almost weekly to prevent Iranian entrenchment in Syria. However, this was not just any action, as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has once again claimed that Israel was winning the war against Iran. Another informal Israeli ally, Saudi Arabia, is currently suffering at the hands of the axis of resistance. Yemen's Ansar Allah, the Houthis, announced that their air force had carried out a large-scale operation on the kingdom on February 28th. The operation, dubbed Deterrent Balance 5, targeted military positions in Riyadh. In total, a spokesman for the Houthis said that a Zulfikar ballistic missile, nine Samad 3 loitering munitions, and six Kasef 2K drones struck a network of Saudi military positions. This was likely in response to Saudi Arabia's increased airstrike activity. A February 28th warplane raid left five civilians, including a woman and a child, dead. In Yemen, on the ground, the fighting is continuing in the Marib district. Marib City and the dam are currently beyond reach. Saudi Arabia carries out increasingly more airstrikes and violations of the al hidayah ceasefire. There are heavy clashes between the Ansar Allah and Saudi-led forces in the Talat al-Hamra, Hamajira, and Balak Mountains, with the Houthis purportedly taking the upper hand. The situation is reaching a critical point, with the axis of resistance attempting to push on the US, Israel, and their other allies on all fronts.